All right, so here's the situation. This is hands down going to be the hardest thing I've ever done in Stalker. Uh, we're playing with a mod pack based off of Anomaly called Gamma, which basically changes the whole way the game's crafting system works. Stores don't even sell guns anymore, for the record. You can't buy guns from shops. Uh, we're playing on five lives, and I get one back every day. While that sounds like a lot of lives, you would be a fool to believe that that's enough. So as a result, there was another rule I've added, uh, which is a mod called Iron Man Roguelike, which essentially means if I make a backpack of anything on the, like if I make a stash in the game and put stuff in it, my next character I make on Iron Man difficulty will be able to find that stash. And anything that has durability will be slightly degraded, but it'll all still be in the bag. All right, it's time. Shut the fuck up, Yoshi. Uh, I, I, the best gun I can get out of here is a car 98. Technically, I could get a MP5 A3, but um, as far as I'm concerned, the car is better <laughs> for this. Oh, chat, you guys think the Taz is good? Yeah, it is. Uh, when you put it on survival, they actually take the Taz away, uh, which is, of course, the difficulty I'm playing on is hard survivalist, so uh, yeah. I think the carabiner is going to work better for us because it'll be longer range. And that's really the best thing we have right now is range on people. Or we can get the Taz 106. You guys still want a Taz? You guys still want a fucking Taz? Chat? You guys want a Taz so fucking bad. This is a single barrel 20 gauge hunting shotgun with a folding fucking stock. Chat, what I will be getting is one bottle of ibuprofen <laughs> for 100 points. For instance, we can't leave this starting screen without a sleeping bag because everyone but mercenaries hates me. So that's our basics out of the way. We need all that stuff. We can't actually afford the car 98 though if we do that. You see, this is where the problem comes in. <laughs> Cause if we do all of that, we can't even afford the gun. Technically, we don't need the suit because we're gonna be wearing other people's the whole game. We don't need the suit. But we need more. We need the ibuprofen, man. What's the what's the thirty six percent for? What's that for? What are you laughing at? What are you? What's the omega lol about? Plus thirty six percent. What do I not know, man? You gotta tell me what I don't know. I don't know either. I don't think anyone knows, cause I I I can't tell what the fuck you guys are actually talking about anymore. Uh, I don't know what 36% is coming from, but I'm, I'm taking the MP5. We are going to need binoculars. That's sort of why I didn't want to take the car. We have to have binoculars. It's the only way we make it out of here alive uh, at all. First aid kit, water bottle, going to need it. But now we can't afford the ibuprofen! So we're here again. We'll find first aid kits. <laughs> but you know what we won't find? Ibuprofen painkillers over the counter, motherfucker. Sell the armor, we go naked. I, I wasn't even planning on taking the fucking armor, my guy. The armor hasn't been in my pack for weeks, motherfucker. All right, loaves of bread are really cheap. Look, grab some loaves of bread. Can I get a flashlight? LOL. <laughs> We're gonna get glow sticks instead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you that I am a professional secret agent with the United Nations. All right, they're sending me in to do what no one else is able to do, and I'm being sent in with two glow sticks because we don't have the budget to afford normal flashlights. All right, PDA. Let's see that glow stick glow, you know what I'm fucking saying? Let's see this fucking glow stick. Shit. <laughs> Did my guy just pull out the glow stick? And remark at how bright it was. <laughs> Shit, man. Fuck. That's fucking bright, man. Yeah, I was there. It was like, boom, headshot, headshot, headshot. Those guys are badass, man. You're so cringe. We're all cringe here. We're... But they all... I need one of them to die so I can take their clothes. Take a careful look at what this guy is selling. Because it's the last yeah, chance there. we have. It was like... Boom! Headshot, headshot, headshot. We know you hit five headshots, man! Thanks, man. That's the only way I fucking know that's not real. Fuck. I have the stamina to run for it and get out before they catch me, if I can get on all these rocks along the way. 
Really? Okay. Fuck you, dude! Oh god damn this game, man! That boar's killing them itself. Okay, that's one boar down. This was the other thing I was thinking of. I might be able to get them to kill themselves. I wanna spend the ammo on these guys. They're truly circling me. Oh man, I need a doctor. Yeah, tell me about it, dude. <laughs> This might be it. They keep surrounding me. <laughs> if I get down range, I have a better chance. Uh, I need a med kit. Yeah, I, I know, dude. You gotta pipe down. Uh, I need a med kit. I know! Hang up the phone! Krista, just fuck off, man! See you like that! Okay, here's my best bet. I have to wait for him to reload, and when he does, I charge him. Let's use it. Use the bullet, bud. Oh my fucking god, all my resources are gone. I have so I have to take more ibuprofen. <laughs> Oh, I'm just living off of these bad boys, dude. Oh boy, amateur voice acting in a mod pack, yikes. Bro, this is probably ripped straight out of fucking Tarkov, my guy. <laughs> it sounds pretty one-to-one. -one. It's literally John Tarkov. Okay. It's time to be a gamer. Slash me, Chug's energy drink. If these pigs think they're going to catch me, I need to be patched up. I'd like to see you try to fucking catch me. All right, cat. Okay, they caught me. I fucking hate cats, dude. You, they are the worst thing in this game. Every other mutant can be outran. Cats cannot, and they spawn in packs of fucking five in this zone, dude. All right, that's one life down. Here's the plan. Damn it. Problem is, if you fucking jump, you just instantly die. You get on this rock, right? Die. Yep, it's over. It's like when it when it starts, it just starts, and you start fucking rolling. Like the the snowball happens because there's nothing. I I have no choice but to take this route. So, as depressing as this is, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Campground Alpha. A safer place is needed to sleep. Shut up, we're going to sleep. I've activated hacker mode. I really hope someone killed these fucking boars while I was gone. Nope. I don't know where my exit is. Cause I can't see. Activate glow stick mode. <gasps> I can't look all the way behind me to see if there's boars. This is the exit. Go. Okay, now we're gonna be in garbage, which is even worse than this place. UNPOV Omega Lol. Shut up. We have nothing. I better get paid by this guy. I better get fucking paid. If I show up at the mercenary base and they're like, thanks, uh, here's the thing you wanted, bye. And there's not like a, oh, by the way, your boss also gave me $5,000 to give to you so you could pay your medical bills. Uh, I'm going to cry on the spot. I can't believe I'm, like, it's the thing. I'm still pretty proud of myself for making it this far with very little practice. Oh, they sw duty swapped for military. That's really cool. Are they patrolling out? What? What? Chad, is there an alliance with military and bandits that I've forgotten about? <laughs> well, with luck like this, how could I fail? Apparently the odds are stacked in my favor. See you later, as it, it. Damn, it's cold. I lived, motherfuckers! Move. Heal. Heal. Get over this thing. Over this. Through here. Over this. Fuck, I actually bled out. If I don't have to run at them, I can do it. I just can't be running straight line. 
I'm not going to go back through Rostock wild territory. That's psycho. I'm not doing Rostock wild territory. We just need enough food to make it to get the information, Jack. Or I don't know, one of my UNISG guys could be like, hey, I dropped like a super cool gun here in the warehouses. You guys can go pick it up if you want. Here's the coordinates. Oh, why couldn't a controller just show up? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the problem, is there's a uh, military. It's not even duty anymore, it's military, and they have insanely good guns. I just need a chance. I just need a chance, man. Because for now I'm living in a fucking tube, man. For now I'm living in a fucking tube. How much food do I have? I have raisins. He's all out of moves. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. Motherfucker, wrong. Wrong. I got plenty of moves still, motherfucker. A blowout will arrive in six hours or so. There's only one time where everyone in this fucking base will leave. Let's run for cover. It's during a blowout. We'll lay low. You'll never make it chat during transitional zones time stops i'm fast do you have enough food for six hours you just love pointing out little stupid little tidbits don't you you have all the food we need someone's gonna come over here and start cooking up a weenie any minute now and then it's ours it's all ours three lives by the way wrong two lives I don't want to be here. I want to be closer. I don't think I can make it all the way to the blowout from here. It's close enough that when this shit goes down, I'll be ready. And frankly, the best place to hide would be in Bloodsucker Village. They're gonna go to Bloodsucker Village to hide. You do have a gun. Hi. I don't think you've seen what's been happening. I'm aware I have a gun. Believe me, I've used my guns many times. I'm one guy versus... Seven guys from military platoon blocking the border from my destination. I cannot punch through them. They will one-shot me, as they have before. I have no medical supplies. I have a bandage. As you can see, there was a military guy right there, apparently. I don't know how he got to me. I actually don't know how that guy got there. In track suits expecting to... Uh... Oh, Acting to, uh, hang on, let know. me... No, nope, that was it. You know, I am not going back in without a car, dude. I mean, that was a great first run, chat. Uh, the only real mistakes I made was, uh, honestly, just bad luck. Q, J, load. Actually, we'll just do junior. Yeah, there we go, perfect. This guy's the one. Oh yeah. And yep, lo and behold, Huge, huge J load the first stash is up there. We can get a cool gun when we get there. All future load generations will have a cool gun. I had to squint to do it, but there's, there's bandits down the road. I wonder if I could kill one as a pixel. We've got D Diamond Doolittle, Colian Fog, Sanya Coachman. They're all rookies. They're not going to have anything on them. One shot to the chest on each of them should one shot them. Let's see if I can even hit the shot, though. One of them's hit, and he's down. Other one's hit, but he's not going down. Now he's hit. And he's down. You guys, I know you can barely see it, because I can barely see it. But you can see the names. There's microscopic little dots of guys down there. There's one left. I'm gonna do the other plan. The more fucked up plan which is go above him, because he's not gonna know that you can climb over this fucking wall. Yeah, that's Colian Fog. Knight has a way of hitting right when you're in the middle of the anomaly field, so make sure to plant. He's posting little fucking hints to others before he fucking dies. That's a, that's a chat. I'm kinda worried about this. He's tweeting right now. The guy, two of his friends get shot by car 98s, and the guy's like, I better tweet. Coachman, coachman, coachman. Did you really think that was gonna fucking work? Somehow the car missed. That one didn't. Wait, 
Those two aren't in the fucking field anymore. They got up. The guy got. The guy lived and proceeded to tweet. There's Colian. He'll go down right there. And his friend was right fucking next to me. What the fuck? These guys are like goddamn ghosts. He has to be behind the rock. You behind the rock, man? Don't make me kill Colian. I know he's an influencer. I will fucking kill him. I gotta tweet something insightful. Wait, what? Colian got fucking back up. And now my arm is fucking shot. They shot my arm. I'm a sniper. I need my arms. How is this Colian guy keep getting up? Who are you, man? The other guy got distracted. He's not with him. My fucking arm is so broken. Die! <laughs> Put that in the fucking obituary. Wait. Grisha Sturlitz and a call just killed Diamond Doolittle. Oh my god! <laughs> That's him! That's the ecologist! Ow! <laughs> Unfucking believable that this happened to me. <laughs> like a fucking horror movie. I'm doing a full restart. Q J Load the third. This guy, for sure. I, can't, I, I don't ever want to watch that clip because I guarantee there's five different instances before I read the obituary that that guy is, can be seen walking towards me. I don't ever want to see like the amount of times in the VOD that that guy was walking directly at me and I was ignoring him. Where's your buddy? The only reason that guy didn't notice me was because- be patched up. Dude, shut up. The only reason that guy didn't notice me was because of fucking, he was starting a fire. Is that duty? It's a duty outfit. Take it with me. Don't equip it yet. Actually? All right, that means we should be much more safe at the warehouses. Where's the nearest camp? Am I, I am, I am like a drooling Neanderthal. I was gonna ask where the nearest campsite was, and then I remembered I killed a man literally lighting a fire there. Been a pleasure, man. <laughs> Sometimes my guy's voice acting actually lands really well. Fucking the fire immediately spreads, lights the guy's body on fire. Damn. <laughs> a technician, Miha Chronic, has been killed by unknown. You no longer need permission to use his vi a band. A pseudo dog is currently in the bandit for killing them all. Evidently. Uh, which according to the map is right here. And now I can use that vice whenever I want because they're dead. They're all dead. Or at least the guy who runs the base is dead. I was going to kill him at this tower. <laughs> I was going to climb up this tower and kill them. Maybe I won't need to. Or maybe I'll only need to kill a... Oh my god. You can't climb stairs, man. <laughs> yep, sometimes it's just like that. Look, that's first dead. And it was to a sci it was to a pseudo dog. Those things hit for full health. I need a doctor. Shut the fuck up. You don't need a doctor. And also, we're not stopping for that fucking stash. We're gonna go the way where a Camaro will get us instead. So says I, Tomato Gaming. We're going the way of eternal damnation. I just gotta load a game real quick. I'm not gonna count that because that was truly God spitting in my eye. I'm literally not gonna. I'm, I, that, that's a one-time thing. That's God spitting in my goddamn eye, and I'm not gonna let. The, I'm not gonna let them cost me a life for that. We're gonna get to Dead City. We're gonna have a good time, and when we get there, we are gonna get a lot of jobs from all the mercenaries, and they're gonna be our best fucking friends. This is Happy Bay all over again. Wrong. Where's my HUD? Well, yeah, you're right, my HUD's weird. My game, all right, this is the first time the game's actually broken. I gotta do a full restart.
God. God! Dude, I love that I picked this fucking picture because I was like, I'm gonna get a gun like that and I'll, it'll look, it'll all look like that. In a little bit, I'll be that strong. LOL. Stalker is a lot like my summer car in that it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And I think we've all learned a lot so far today about the journey. Almost to army, uh, army war warehouses. And then we're one step away from our original objective. It's only taken four and a half hours. <laughs> it's only taking four and a half hours, bro. Shut your mouth. Now, I have to focus. Those are freedom. Guys, I'm not really with freedom, I swear. Ow, fuck. Down ibuprofen. We're so close, I can't die like this. Quickly, down ibuprofen. Bandage. We have to find, we have to find the tube. That's the only chance we have, chat. Quickly. Inject myself with glucose. I need to take my. I gotta take my insulin. The tube! Oh! I lived, bitch. Oh man, I need a doctor. No, you don't. <laughs> I lived. I just need to find out who's out front. If it's Mercs, I take my clothes off. Immediately. They're throwing fucking grenades at me. Leave me alone! I need to be patched up. I know, dude. I know. <laughs> what happened down there? That... That stuff's mine, bro! Oh, what have I done? <laughs> that was stupid. Everyone knows I'm now... <laughs> wow, I started a real war. Well, this time I'm gonna load up. And using my knowledge of what I just saw, now I can act according. Bye bye. Bye. Goodbye, sir. I'm actually not gonna stop at the loot. Yeah. Guys, please fucking stop, dude. Really I'm way too close to you to kill me, man. Oh my god. This is actually what's gonna fucking kill me, is like truly running for the exit. That's so depressing. This is unbelievable. This is, they know I'm, they know who I am now. Cause one of the guys behind me was duty. Max Simulator saw me. Who is Max Simulator? Oh shit. Bud, shut the fuck up. I need you to be quiet now. All right, Max, that's freedom. But he doesn't know I'm here. Oh. Who the fuck was that guy? I literally a thousand guys are in warehouses today. Don't you fucking throw a grenade, asshole. Don't you fucking do it. I think he misfired. Keep. Actually, exoskeleton character. Have you considered not killing me? Will you let me eat ibuprofen before you kill me? Oh my fucking god, dude. You gotta be kidding me, man. This wasn't hard until literally army warehouses, and now I am truly in hell. And I couldn't even tell who was at the gate, so my duty outfit's a whole lot of bullshit. Here's my plan. See you all in five years when the war is over. We live here until I hear no more shooting. I will wait as long as it fucking takes. How's your day going? Not good. Not good, very bad. Can't get to dead, can't, can't get to dead city. Can I run for that tube? Do I tube hop? Fucking Max Simulator ruined everything. He's the guy you saw. He's the guy who actually broke my disguise. We're going for the next tube. Get in here. Get inside it. I'm not tired enough to sleep. It doesn't say it's not safe. Here's my plan. I don't own sleeping pills. I need to be patched up. <laughs> Just stare at this door with our gun loaded. And wait till I get sleepy. And then I'm gonna run for it. 
all we have to do is go right down this road. How hard could it be? I'm not moving. Because I'm hearing goddamn crickets already. You know what that means. It's 2 p.m. <gasps> you guys ever mix morphine with, with caffeine before? You're not supposed to do this. <laughs> this is the only chance we have. Is to light this fire and run as hard as we fucking can. Dude, the fire's fucking lit! Fuck you! Save the game! That made me mad. Because I needed to run because someone was detecting me. It's freedom. No, it's military. And I'm so- and the whole place is radiation. <clears throat> Hang on, I want to reload for this because it bugged on me. How many friends do you think he has here? I'm not in the mood. Why am I looting? Why am I looting? Run. Run, it's all radiation, bud. I'm all radiation, baby. Is it still- it's still radiation! Okay, hang on. In that case, I'm gonna play this a lot different. <laughs> See, next I'm gonna get to Dead City. And that place is going to say, haha, lol. You can't go this way. You need a psi suit. Oh, the whole road is radiation chat. Look! Oh my god. Dude, this- this is evil. What we're watching is truly the entire game breaking down to try to stop me. Well, we made it. It took a little bit of cheesing at the end. I'm sorry, but it, like that was reaching a point of like truly maddening. Technically, my next job so, is to go up to Juke and rendezvous with the others. I could pay someone to take me there, but there's no doubt in my mind I'll die once I get there. Alternatively, I could pay someone to... Alternatively, I could pay someone to come with me through the Red Forest, but given that the second I was about to even invoke the name of the Red Forest, Thunderstruck, maybe we don't. Alternatively, we could go through... Someone to fast travel me to Jupiter, baby. Woo! What's up, bro? In the darkness, you stumble into the room at the top of the stairs. They tell you never to go up there, but you did. You want to find out what the rumors were about. Surely the place can't be haunted. You step up the stairs and you hear breathing, and all of a sudden a mouth opens. You can hear it. It's disgusting. It goes, what's up, bro? Okay, that traitor says it's mine, which means we're close. Guys? I can't chat. I can't tell if they're above in the tunnel or outside of the tunnel. <gasps> That's where the teacher did this! Move! Major! Major, I, I did it, Major! Major? Major? Guys, guys, I don't know if you all got better armor than I did, but like, that, I thought that was a fireplace. They just all squatted around the green goo. That's not our guy. Sergeant, I just want to deliver the mail. Major Hernandez, I have the intel. Ah, oh, you're not dead. What's Good. up, bro? Did he just... Dude, it's like, I'm here trying to have a good conversation with Major Hernandez, and he has the, the fucking first thing that finally comes out is where mouth is he says, what's up, bro? Come on, dude. Can't we, can't we at least have one? Do you know how fucking hard it was to get here, man? As you can see, we found a good shelter here, but... <laughs> It's still too exposed. We'd like to explore the catacombs below and see if it's inha if it's habitable. But the last squad we sent dropped out of contact and hasn't returned since. This is my fault for being too hasty, dude. How will we approach the factory? Carefully. Reports indicate there may be a platoon of Ukrainian troops skulking about up there. They must be eliminated as quickly and quietly as possible, man. 
I'm trying to fix the turret rig. Did you? Did everyone shut the fuck? I'm trying to. I'm so tired of this. Okay, guys. So here's the situation. We are going up the hill into a place that is currently occupied by the military. Does anyone have any questions while I'm commanding these troops? Well, I feel like I'm getting shot in the back of the head. That'll be the end of my story. Go there, guys. <laughs> guys, go there. Well, all right. Okay, let's do it. Everyone follow me. I'm going to die. They'll all be fine. These guys are fucking, these guys are totally baked. They've been talking about getting high. Most of them are. All right, boys, so here's the deal. No, don't ignore combat. Definitely do combat, but we're stealthing. So lights out. Hey. Hey, Gritzy? Junior Lieutenant Gritzy? You're gonna need to take that fucking suit off. <laughs> I just need to find the door and then we then we'll be a little bit better off. I just don't I've never I haven't had to do this since I played through original Call of Propriat. Oh yeah, it's right here. Dude, fuck this. You guys are so slow too, by the way. Alright, we're done with stealth. No more stealth. The best thing all of you can do is be really annoying and loud. So at least I won't get shot alone. I only have one life to my name, so uh we should take this seriously. Guys, there's military right there. Guys? Guys, please, dude! Dude! They are literally running at us, dude! <laughs> Gritzy! Out! This is just glass. Dude, I'm using a med kit. Fuck that. I'm already half health. Bud, you gotta stop that. My god, guys, please! Huh, well that's convenient. Oh, this is the back entrance in. He said, parkouring anyways. This is, this is the way you're not supposed to go in. You're supposed to go all the way around, he said. Hey! Gritzy, can you come over here? Yeah, everyone crouch. There you go. Now just keep doing that. Oh, God damn you guys are too big! I don't know if I can reach without me. Oh, there it is. Who's who here? There was a guy on the roof. Alright, it was just the guy on the second floor. Dude, if I get blown up by a grenade right now, I am truly going to break. If this, if that guy, after being as loud as he was all game, hucks a grenade and spikes it into me, because I know these fucking AI can't aim grenades, I'm in a Joker moment. He spiked it into the ground next to him. Yeah, I got the briefcase. All right, bruh, let's take a look see. He actually says take a look-see. Pripyat Underpass, also known to the locals as Jupiter Underground. The layout seems simple enough. However, according to Dushman's documents, it also looks like it. Exa it looks like exactly the sort of environment that mutants would love. Dark, dank, a little, a little cramped in places. Mm. Now, cavernous areas down there, too. And according to the requisitions manifest between the factory well, and you stop excuse. fucking moving me, there's actually anomalies in this room, bud. Do you sell medical supplies, sir? Nah, dude, no one does here, bruh. Okay. Okay, dude. That's fine. Some of you may have encountered mutants already, but I heard the underground ones are a whole lot, a whole different kind of nasty. So buckle up, shake your heads clear, and stay frosty. You can take point. Suck my dick. I can take point, he says. Suck my dick. Yeah, bruh. You take point, dude. Yeah, dude. You take point, bruh! I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't remember the way in. I want to at least confirm this before I load all the way back up. The map doesn't tell me anything. I haven't been there in a thousand years in this game, man. Where is the way down? 
At least tell me if you're going to send me into a radioactive cesspool, my guy. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> Let me out now. Where is it? Where is it? I could have sworn it was down here. Is it a hatch? I truly can't remember. My god. Yeah, I'm in god mode right now. Because, uh, I need to be patched up. Playing spy because the entire game is... It's the fucking hole behind the mechanic? It's the plot wall behind the mechanic! What? Did that... Was that always the door? Because I swear I had to kill a bunch of monoliths to get in there five years ago the last time I went in this fucking tunnel. I could have sworn I had to go into, like, actually go into the subway system and kill, like, 80 oh, monitors. Man, I need a doctor. Yeah, what you need is to reload all the way back to the last daddy save, my guy. Don't worry, I'll help you out. Because we gotta take a walk back to the base to hand in that mission so we can do this without being loaded up full of an unbelievable amount of radiation. Oh, thing is, I'm still having a lot of fun, though, is the problem. It's just, boy, oh, boy. The radiation, I miss old stalker anomaly radiation, where like it was a problem, but it wasn't like a, oh boy, I'm going to cease to exist. That'll suck eggs. That will be where this character dies, by the way. There's no fucking way I'm making it out of that basement. Just write that, write, remember that. That's where that character dies, this character dies. Hey man, I got the fucking documents. Yep, here. I eliminated them. Let's get going. Let's talk again. Hang on, I'm not done with you. I'm not going in there without a Geiger counter. I grab him by the shoulders. I shake him by the collar and I scream, I'm not going in there without a fucking Geiger counter. Not that it'll save me. He says he doesn't understand what I'm even talking about. I say to him, I scream in his face, uh, spraying spit all over him uh, while I do it. I scream, you guys don't die when you get hit by radiation. You guys don't die. I see you guys walk through anomalies and you don't die. You you step through these things and you laugh and you sit on them and you say, I bet I could dodge bullets. Half the squad downstairs is doing the same thing. He says, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. And you should say it, not spray it. And I say, go downstairs, go downstairs and look at what Gritsonov is doing. And he says, say it, don't spray it. You gotta cool off. Excuse me. Chill out, bro. Bro, you need to cool it. Well, chill it. Did he just say, well, chill it? What did he just fucking say to me? Did he actually just fucking say, well, chill it? All right, guys. Really? I thought, guys, I thought that we would have everyone for this. This thing's not going to help me for shit. Dude. <laughs> I don't know why I spent $4,000 on this. Well, then how do I get past this? That's... Oh you, oh, you want me to go buy this? Hey, does someone else want to go first? Guys, guess how many bolts I own. Not guess. Guess, though. I see what I have to do, I just don't want to. <laughs> Let me guess. There's also going to be radiation. Now there's radiation. And yes, it was killing me. This is one of my last weeks of vodka. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like that. No! Oh, it's just a little guy. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it now! Yep, unload, use all your ammo. Take it down. Radiation section. Second. Oh! Ah! Oh my god. There's a snork on me. Yep, that's it. It was a good run, but uh, it has been seven hours. I wish I could have seen where that snork came from. Not gonna do more stalker yet. I need like a cool down day when it comes to stalker. It is a exhausting time. Have a good night. Goodbye.